Kenny had to make it clap. Talk to me about Chippendales. <laughs> okay. So things are obviously going well for you. You're making good money. You're wrestling. But we got to get a little extra scratch on the side here. How does Chippendales make its way into your life? <laughs> That's <laughs> All right, so let's look, let me just clarify that I've never once ever in my life ever made a clap. Let's just put that out there because that's a sound bite that will travel forever. All right, now that we got that all out the way. Um, so it was, it was funny that's how everything was. So watch how everything ties in together, right? Okay. So it was a guy that I know from Orlando that was living with me. It was but me and a, a buddy of mine that we were renting a house. And um, he was the singer for the, the European Chippendales tour. And uh, and he wrote three, I think he's got like three three songs written on uh, the No Strings Attached for the, the NSYNC album. Excuse us. Okay. Right. So so he's an Orlando guy also, right? He had just happened mm -hmm. to move out to Vegas. So he was like, hey, man, do you want to, uh, well, like, what do you, would you think about like want to travel, like going to the Chip and Nails? And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm cool. Thanks. He's like, nah, man, but like. You might want to do this. This is a pretty cool gig. I was like, yeah, no, I'm cool. So uh, maybe it was like a month or two later, like on his birthday. So he would travel. So he'd, he'd be out a lot, uh, like European, like he'd be in Europe for like eight, nine weeks at a time and then pop back in and then dip again. And I think it was his birthday. He was like, yo, it's, the bir our bir it's my birthday. Uh, we're going to go to the chip. We're going to go chip and ales. And uh, you know, so you can see what the show's like, bro, I don't want to do do this why do you think what makes you think i want to go and watch a bunch of dudes in banana hammocks and oil each other out like i'm chill i'm cool it's my birthday bro like you don't have a choice all right fine right whatever i go on to protest and then i go to the show and then i see six seven hundred women in the in the audience and then i see what it is which is not really it's so it's it's different it's not like it's uh like you're like a strip club or like magic mike it's actually like a choreographed show where there's yeah. like set changes and wardrobe and stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm looking at, you know, this choreography. I'm like, all right, that's like wrestling spots. That's all right. And then I'm looking at these 700 women go crazy in the crowd. I'm like, I'm tripping. Wallets <laughs> out. Yeah. I'm tripping. But, but there's no, but even then there's no tips. Like you get paid per show. Oh, so okay. And okay. then, so like the, so like afterward, like there's, like there's pictures where the women can come up and take pictures and that's like, Kind of like how the the, the this is like a the only tipping situation, but it's not okay. even that. But so um, I was like, well, you know what? I ain't doing that in the summer. I could take a couple. You know, I could take a month off. And so I went to Europe for two months. Um, my very first we did Ber we did the Berlin Arena, and my very first show at Chippendales. I think there was like we drew like eight thousand women, and I had oh my drawn, goodness at that point I hadn't drawn more than like been in a, at a wrestling show that had more like more than five hundred people. So I'm like, what? Ah, what is going on? So uh, there are these big stadium shows, and 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 it was so that's how that happened. That that happened. Oh my god! Right before I met my daughter's mom, uh, I did some tours of Chippendales and then I moved and then I moved to Florida and then I quit Chippendales <laughs> and then wow what a great little chapter in your life but then I moved back to Vegas <laughs> <laughs> and then and then uh so the show uh it's there's only like so there's the European tour and then there's the Vegas show and the Vegas show is like there's 10 guys and it's like you have to either die or get fired to, to okay. get out of the show uh and then I end up running to one of the guys at uh, grocery store or whatever. And he's like, hey, man, you know, like, are you back? You need to be back in the Vegas show, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, nah, that ship has sailed. I'm cool. About an hour later, I get a phone call from the producer, like, what's up, man? <laughs> so ah! I, I I got back in the Vegas show. I did the Vegas show from 2010 to 2015. Was on Dang. three number one selling calendars in the world. Um, Damn. And, that's how that, Look that's at how you that. go. I feel like you're just like destined. You're like that guy. You've done Chippendales. You're out as a professional wrestler. You're a child actor. Like the spotlight is just meant to be on you. Uh, I tried the, the the office nine to five timeshare thing and I, <laughs> I break out in hives. So <laughs> it's not my thing. How different is a Chippendales locker room than a wrestling locker room? Do you know who asked me that question once? Huh, huh. Kurt Angle asked me that question <laughs> once, right? Uh, and, <laughs> okay. and, and 
it's remarkably similar. It's I'm the, sure. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, it's the same type of guys, the same insecurities, the same backstabbing bullshit. It's the, I mean, like if you could take. I bet. I bet. It, 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 you could literally interchange them. It's, it's hilarious in that respect. It, it really is the same in terms of like, all right, we've got the little oil station before we walk out the curtain. Everyone spray your hair down. You've got your gear. There's, you know, you got your tanner. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Here's some weights. Here's some bands. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. Okay, so here's a fun question. If you were to put together your lineup of Chippendales dancers, performers with professional wrestlers, who would your crew be? How many do I get? Um, I mean, you said 10 for Vegas. That seems like a lot to put you on the spot to answer, but you you tell me seven. Do we want seven? All right, Five? I'll, give, I'll give you seven. Okay. Uh let's go Finn Baylor for, for the abs. Sure, sure. Uh let's go Bobby Lashley just for the for the for the sheer size. Um Let's go Ziggler for the hair. Oh, Ziggler, you know, is good for it. He's yeah, good for it for sure. Ziggler for the hair. He's got the um, booty shake down too. Yes, yes. He does. Yes. Um, <laughs> who else? Who else could get in on this? Um Willie back for the for the hips. Okay. <laughs> nobody nobody yeah. got the hips like Willie. And the funny thing is, he said, well, "Like I, we were going back and forth one day because that's my boy. We go back and forth." And I said, "You know what, Willie? You keep talking shit to me, and I'm gonna open up the Chunkendales, and I'm gonna fe feature you <laughs> as the main guy. So Willie could be our Chunkendale. Shout out to Willie Mack. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Um, Gosh, I'm trying to like rattle off some names in my head too of who I think could kind of get in there. I think we got to put Roman in there just for just just he's just a fucking big. He's got that party. essence. The yeah, light. yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's six. We got we got one more. Let's see. Yeah, let's get one more in there. You obviously would be the lead. I'm the guy. Chippendale. Yeah. You're I'm, the guy. I'm the feature. You got to <laughs> orchestrate the whole show, but we got to have the background performers. Who else has like the great? Wow. I mean, there's a million guys with great abs, obviously. Hmm. Bobby Lashley doing Chippendales is very funny to me. Oh, that's, it's, to me, that's <laughs> that's the best thing. Right? I think the best thing would be we would have to have like a backstage camera for Bobby learning the choreography. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Be, How hard to, was it to learn to like dance though? Like, was did that come naturally to you? Hell no. Like, I don't uh... know. Eight counts, one and two, one, no. two. First it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they change it one and two. And like, wait, what? Wait, what? So no, it was uh it took a while for me to learn. Cause we had like, I mean, we had a like shoot a guy named Glenn Packard. He's a he's a real like a shoot Hollywood choreographer. So yeah. um and he was, you know, very patient with me. So I appreciate it. That's really <laughs> cool though to like be in Vegas. And have a, a job like that where you're like, I get to go do my thing, but then I'm actually just going home from here. Like, I feel like I always thought that like when I lived out in Vegas, anytime I'm in like a yoga class, I'm like Cirque performer, dancer, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. You're kind of mm -hmm. like trying to like pinpoint what everybody's doing. But to go have a show like that and then just like mm, drive back home, get on a get on the highway, shut her down. It's a pretty great little office job. It was all right. Shows when I was doing it, shows were at eight. Uh, and there were 90 minute shows and Great. usually by <clears throat> depending on if I was getting into any nonsense or not, I was on by 1030. Great. Okay. So that took up a big chunk of your time. Yeah, you, I was you, doing you that. weren't you you weren't doing both at the same time. You could. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was. You doing, were. Uh, I was I was flying at one point. I was doing uh chip and nails sunday monday tuesday flying out wednesday doing live impact thursday friday Holy saturday shit. back in i was doing seven days a week how did you let your body recover you must have been exhausted i was beat to shit i was i was a little younger so it was fine but i was beat sure to shit oh my god okay so you're able to you know wrap up the chip and dales party just stay focused on impact and on wrestling um was it nice to kind of just clear your schedule and just focus on the one thing 
Yeah, it was. It was mostly because also like, you know, I'm, when I'm home, I want to be with my daughter. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it was also a thing. I mean, thank God during that time, like, you know, I have family out here where, you know, I can pick her up from school. We do homework. I drop her off with my mom or my sister before I go to, you know, go to work and then yeah. pick her up. And, and there even times like where they would every now and then have us like travel to do different things. So uh, it was, it was a lot uh, that I didn't have to do all of a sudden when I was just focused. I think I, by that point, I think I had went back to ring of honor. So okay. um, it was good to just have those dates. Um, and just then at that point, I was really just focused on being, being a dad.